Welcome back to another episode with Laser Everything. Today we're going to be discussing switching from EasyCAD 2 to other software like Lightburn. If that's something that you're stuck on and you want to switch to Lightburn from EasyCAD 2, this is the episode for you. We're getting started right now. So those of you who can see my screen, you can see that I have a design here that's already hatched and ready to go. And I have this saved as a .ezd file. You can see on the top left corner, my emojiman.ezd. Now, the reason why a lot of people kind of get stuck in EasyCAD, especially with production machines, production environment, you end up in this circumstance where you have a lot of files that are ready to go and ready to burn, but if they're all in .ezd format, that doesn't allow you to move to Lightburn, which might be a little more user-friendly and give you some more options to work with here. So that might be preventing you in doing so. Well, thanks and big props to Michael on the LMA, ET Laserworks. Thank you so much for bringing this to our attention and allowing us to also proceed with sharing it with the community. I don't know where you got this information from, but it's huge, so thank you. So what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna drop EasyCAD back here for a moment and you'll notice my only copy of Emoji Man in AI format, which is also vector format, is on my desktop here and Oh no, if your employee or you forgot you needed that and it found its way into the recycling bin, well, now all you're stuck with is your .ezd format file that you saved through EasyCAD. Well, in order to convert to a different format, such as a vector, a .svg, whatever, uh, so you can move that over to Lightburn, I suggest disabling your hatches to make it a little bit easier, this is what I've learned so far. And you are now just dealing with several lines. Now what that allows you to do, and I'll be able to show you here in just a minute, is it removes all the hatch lines. And when you're zoomed in in EasyCAD, you can see all these little lines. Each of these is a hatch line. And those are additional lines that the software we're gonna be talking about here in just a moment is going to be uh, having to draw. It's going to have to draw every individual line and it's going to struggle with that. So the less data you feed into it, the better. And also it's gonna help with the conversion process because if you don't do this, when it converts, it's going to also convert all of these lines individually into light burn as well. And it's going to make for a very nasty situation when you go to set something to fill or set something to line only in Lightburn. We'll move on from that now, but just a pro tip in the future. So we're going to remove the hatch, as I said before, so we're disabling the hatch. Might be worth going through and double checking your hatch two and three two, and then we're gonna hit apply. And we now have a nice clean set of lines. And I'm going to save as, so if you don't wanna risk ruining your project, save as, and save it as something else. So instead of Emoji Man, I'm just gonna label it Emoji Man Convert. And we're gonna save that. And what we're gonna do is we're now going to move over to a software called Mir K4DT. And you'll have noticed that on my desktop here, it's got a, a very adorable looking raccoon or something, meerkat looking, you know, whatever. So we're gonna move on. And we're gonna go ahead and open that project and emoji man convert. And that's the one with just our line. And you'll notice it loaded nice and fast. And I want you to, to notice that. I'll give you an example of why we're doing it the way we're doing it here in just a moment. So we have our lines and we're gonna go ahead and save as. And you'll notice that it's exporting it as a .svg. This is fantastic. This is exactly what we want. So I'm gonna go ahead and label this. And we now have Emoji Man converted in SVG format. So I'm going to give you another example here. I created a new document and we're gonna go ahead and open project Emoji Man, the original. We're gonna go ahead and open that up. And it's just going to sit here for a very long time trying to load the file. Now, eventually it will load the file if it doesn't crash, but 
it's again it's going to generate all of those individual hatch lines that easy cad created and it's going to be problematic when you get into lightburn because it's going to want to try and individually fill everything in between those lines as well and it's just going to generate chaos in the instance that you need to do that for some reason it's going to take a lot of cleanup because then you have to go in and delete all of those individual lines so again not suggested it's kind of a little bit of a dirty situation. So the other piece of that here is this program is now stuck. Uh, you'll notice it's not responding. I'm getting the, the Windows loading circle of death and we're stuck. So in this instance, in this case, it has crashed for me. In previous testing, it has worked. It's just taken several minutes for it to load all and generate all of those files, but that's okay. We don't need to go through that. We've already discussed the downsides of having to deal with all those extra lines. So we're gonna move on. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch over to Lightburn. So we have Lightburn open here and we have our SVG. I've already gone ahead and dragged this in and this is straight from our Emojiman converted.svg file we generated from Meerkat or MeerK40T, whichever you will. And it's imported on a line layer. And if we go ahead and fill it, it looks exactly how it did in EasyCAD. No weird additional hatch lines to deal with, no duplicated lines on the layer, and everything comes in grouped. And we can go ahead and ungroup that. We can modify any piece that we need to modify. If we want him to be a one-eye thumbs up man, that's okay, we can do that. And that's the whole process for converting from EasyCAD file to Lightburn or any other piece of software. This is something that uh, became supported in release version 0.8.4, I believe, for Mir K40T. And there have since been other versions. I will go ahead and leave a link again to the release page from Mir K40T in the description below. And if it's something that you got use out of and appreciate, hit that like button again, but also more importantly, we need to support the person who made this possible. If it's something that you appreciated up at the top of the release page, you'll see a sponsor option and that goes toward the person who made this possible. So if you guys appreciate it, go ahead and give that sponsor button a press and give this person a dollar or 10 bucks, buy him a coffee and just show him that you appreciate his work just to resolve any confusion on how to get this software from the releases page that I have linked down below. You can go ahead and select the version you want. You can start with the newest version or in the case of what I have here, I started with .8.4 since that's the version that brought this compatibility into the program. And once you've selected the version you want to download, scroll all the way down to the bottom and in GitHub, this is where all the assets are. What you want is the executable file for the program. Just a disclaimer, this isn't something that we generated or made. This is something that this person was nice enough to work on and share with the community and all the contributors that contribute to it. If you have any qualms about security or anything like that, the source code is all there and you can view it for yourself. If you're all good with that and you wish to proceed and download at your own risk, Go ahead and grab that executable and you're off to the races. There are other versions as well, .dmg, uh, also for Linux. So whatever you need, it's there for you. That's it for me. If you guys haven't joined any of our other communities like the Discord or the Facebook, which are free and open to everybody, uh, go ahead and check those out. Hit the subscribe button, the like button, show us that it's decent content, leave a comment, let us know what you're excited to see next. And if you wanna support our content and what we do, check out the LMA. It's the best way to support what we do. And that's it guys, see you in the next one.